What's going on guys, I'm back, and today we got a brand new video on a little bit of insider trading support from the politicians. Who would have guessed that the people who make tons of money trading on non-public information make a lot of money and don't want it to go away. But before we jump into all that types of news, if you are not subscribed, make sure you smash that sub button because we're in the road to 1,000 subscribers. But we have a nice little interview or kind of questioning with Nancy Pelosi, the stock queen herself. You can see right here on Reddit even has the stock queen being asked if representatives and their spouses should be banned from trading stocks while in office. Um, they should be, very much so. They should only be allowed to do in, uh, index funds and not individually trade. So let's see what this video uh, is all about. How does she actually react? The insider just completed a five-month investigation by the next 49 members of Congress and 182 senior congressional staffers have violated the Stock Act, um, the insider trading law. I'm wondering if you have any reaction to that. And secondly, should members of Congress and their spouses be banned from trading individual stocks while serving in Congress? No, I don't know to the second one. Um, any, uh, we have a responsibility to report in the stock, uh, on the stock, but I don't, I'm not familiar with that five-month review, but if uh, people aren't reporting, they should be. But, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, this is a free market and people, uh, we have a free market economy, they should be able to participate in that. So we love the free market economy when it means we can make millions, but it's greedy capitalism when we, the government, prints 80% of all dollars in circulation and says <laughs> inflation's going crazy. It's got to be capitalism. It's got to be those greedy corporations. This type of response, not like, uh, I mean, you're asking someone who is making millions and millions of dollars off of this types of stuff and asking them if they'd be willing to stop it or admit that something wrong is going on and it's not going to happen. We see the uh, Stock Act was something that was talked about uh, in that video saying people violated the Stock Act. Uh, and see, even this says accountability for stock trading lawmakers, but who enforces this stock act stuff, uh, if not the people in Congress, and if they are benefiting from this, why would they enforce it? You come into a lot of problems here, but even looking about the action, you can see uh, at, at hand are legitimate concerns over conflicts of interest that may arise when elected officials have significant financial interest tied to an area over which they have significant influence. So yeah, if they're doing regulation on big tech companies and they own a lot of Apple stock, maybe all of a sudden they don't want to push it so much. They want to let it flow. Let Apple do what it wants to do. And then see, for example, a senator writing healthcare policy while holding substantial stock in a pharmaceutical firm or representative married to the chair of an energy firm sitting on a committee that can influence the energy sector Lots of problems you come into when you're doing this types of stuff. If somebody wants to regulate this sector, but they have a lot of money at stake and financial interest to not regulate it, then they're not going to regulate it because it benefits them. And they don't care about what would be good for the, the people that they represent or the U.S. or their state themselves or their district. They don't care because obviously people are greedy in nature. If you want to go into public office into this government kind of public office serving the public uh and but you want to be an investor you can pick one either go be an investor play by the same rules everyone else plays by or go be a congress congressman work for the government do whatever you want or be an elected official if you want to do that you can go do that but you don't get to invest in whatever you want you get to do index funds i think would be the fairest way to just say you can buy the s p 500 and you know, call it a day at that because no one's forcing you to become a congressman and or a congresswoman and uh, saying you have to do this and you're not allowed to invest. No one's forcing you to do that. And the biggest problem for this Stock Act, this middle part, saying the penalties faced for violating the Stock Act are often minimal and not disclosed to the public. Fines for a first time Stock Act violator begin at $200 barely a dent in undisclosed transactions that are frequently worth thousands and millions of dollars. So who, who cares about a $200 fine? If you made $10 million and they say, you got to pay us $200. <laughs> All right, here's your 200 bucks. I'm going to go do it again. And I'll pay you another 200 after I make another million. Like 
it's just not something that is strong enough in force. It should just be, uh, I don't know, it should be something ridiculous to make sure people don't do this because it's taking advantage of the system, taking advantage of a position of power, and it's all pretty ridiculous. And then this last part, just put simply, as elected officials, craft laws that directly impact the lives of Americans. Voters have a right to know whether their representatives are acting in the public's interest or for their own financial gain. If elected officials are not held accountable for failing to promptly and properly disclose, disclose stock trades, this trend of members failing to comply may continue and worsen. It is going to continue and worsen because no one's going to enforce it. That's like, that's like you saying if you have uh, in your house and saying it's illegal or not allowed to have purple clothes in my house but then also saying you're not allowed to come in my house to check like how, how are you supposed to see if something's actually going on that's not supposed to be and looking at this chart kind of shows why they don't want it to end and it goes for both sides it doesn't matter what your favorite color is uh they are all doing this and nancy pelosi obviously the most well-known one uh it keeps trying to get taken down the pelosi tracker on twitter which is actually hilarious but see her trades for purchasing securities in 2020 oh, well over 20 million dollars probably closer to 30 million in trades in 2020 trading off of the news knowing that this uh pandemic was coming so they sell off their stocks that are going to fall they buy these pharmaceutical stocks they make a ton of money they might even short the market or buy puts and say and make just tons and tons of money from information that isn't able or isn't available to the public. Uh, and then they define insider trading their own way so that they can say insider trading has to be non-public information from a company. So they have non-public information about a sector, about the government, about these types of things, but not directly from the company. That's how they get away with it, where it's not technically insider trading if we just look really quick for nancy pelosi here uh just quick google searches kind of trying to see we have nancy pelosi uh 196 million dollars in net worth uh on a salary of 223,500. dollars so let's just quickly see how long it would take to get that amount of money on her salary. So you take this calculator, we see her net worth is $196 million. Go back to her salary, say her total net worth, if she was doing it off of just her salary, would take her a whopping 876 years. And despite what you might think, she is not actually 876 years old. And that would be assuming that she doesn't spend a dime doesn't pay any taxes doesn't buy any food doesn't buy anything and saves every single penny of her salary and it would still take over 800 years absolute ridiculous stuff uh it is crazy that this is allowed in the first place this insider trading and on top of that uh it's never going to change because it benefits the people who would need to, to do the changes for it to change they're never going to do that. But no surprise. Uh, I mean, Nancy Pelosi has been a big kind of looking at her and seeing her trades and stuff. And she is by far the best investor in a long, long time. Uh, she is better than everyone on the market. Better returns than Warren Buffett. Better returns than any hedge fund you can find. She's just killing the game. She just must be very lucky, right? So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, politicians supporting insider trading because it benefits them. Uh, so... No real shock there. But as always, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. See you guys in my next video.